It's uh, been a while since the last episode, but I've been busy. A lot has happened, a lot has changed. But I uh, figured I'd give an update on all the projects because there's quite a few of them at this point. So I uh, figured I'd give a little tour, talk about all the projects. This is a this is one of the OG projects. It's a '93 Foreigner dropped on top of an E46 chassis, BMW E46 chassis. Yeah, it's it's, it's my older brother's project. He daily drove it for a long time. Um, I'll uh, give you a tour around real quick. It's on some pretty sick factory BBS BMW rims. Um, got the exhaust coming out the bumper. This is my older brother's project. Yeah, this, this thing will get some love soon. It's probably gonna get a, a full cage or at least a roll bar, like back half cage. Um, we'll probably see an update on this thing soon. It's gonna get some love, the love it needs, but yeah, for now, it's just sitting here. Doesn't make for the best winter vehicle, so. He's got another project he's got right now, but yeah, it'll, it'll get an update soon. This is my other brother's project. Um, it's an 04 Foreigner, V04 V8 Foreigner, and uh, we cut the back half off put on the camper shell from a 77 Toyota Chinook. Um, it, it also rips. It's pretty sick. It's on, I think these are like 33s, something like that. It's got Recaro bucket seats. A lot of people asked what the back of this thing looks like. And uh, as much as everyone wants it to be like an overland rig, it's not really my brother Steez. He's, he's into motorcycles and he just wanted it to haul his motorcycles around. His plan is he's gonna cut this back half off and make it sort of like an enclosed trailer. So it'll, it'll lower down flat and he'll just be able to ride his motorcycles up in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he still takes the camping. It's got like an awning. It's got a bubble top that came off of our house at the time. It was like a skylight thing. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you the inside. Um, the back, from the back, it obviously just looks like Chinook. Oh, and the, the top pops up. Let's go around the other side. Here, I'll show you the uh, V8 
V8-4R into 2UZ. It's like same motor that's out of the, the early Tundras. Um, this one's my project. This one has a full series, the whole entire project on the channel. Um, it's a 65 Dodge Dart on top of a BMW E90 chassis. This actually used to be my grandfather's car. From the outside, it's basically a stock 65 Dodge Dart. The only real obvious thing is the stock BMW wheels, which I, I do want to change. Um, it's winter time right now, so I got my snow tires on. And I, I daily drive this thing. I drive it up to the ski hill in the snow, and it, it does awesome. It's not an all-wheel drive E90, it's just a rear-wheel drive one, but it does surprisingly good. I'll show you the, the paint is just crazy. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things I wanna fix. The whole wiper thing drives me crazy. This is where the stock BMW wiper came out, and that's where the 65 wiper. Um, so I'll probably change this, maybe make some sort of linkage so I can use the stock wipers. These work fine, they're just, I mean, they're just ugly. But they're practical, so. Obviously this thing is straight, but not that straight. And I'll, I'll work on that. Um, I daily drive it, so I just, it kind of is what it is until I have, have time to fix it, but obviously she's a little rusty, but got the exhaust coming out the side. I'm just imagining when I got a cool set of wheels under there, being able to see them through the rust hole, I think will be kind of cool. And just no one expects this thing to be fast or reliable or fun to drive or anything, but it, it rips. Here you can see the the paint is just I mean it's really pretty. You can't really tell but some things I want to change. Um oh yeah, I got the SpongeBob. Um the interior is gonna get a lot of love here soon, hopefully. I mean it obviously is pretty baller for a 65 Dodge Dart, but I, uh, I think I'm gonna dye the interior. I don't really like the gray and it's like so obviously not Like obviously a BMW Which I don't know if I'm into But uh, I think the back seats are like Just not practical at all. Like the couple times I've had friends back here You have to roll down the side window and move the seat forward Um so I think I'm gonna take these seats out. I should probably have a roll cage in this thing, or at least a roll bar, because it's, I mean, it's a tin can. So I think I'll take the back seats out and just have a half cage. While I'm at it, I'll do the headliner. Um, probably dye the interior, dye the carpet. But uh, yeah, just basically stock E90 interior. Um, I've also got a couple projects Obviously, it's got no mirrors on it right now. I uh, I bought a 3D printer, and I designed some up on the computer. They'll mount right here, and they use the stock BMW motors. But, uh, so I can use, like, so I'll be able to control them from the interior, but they'll look a little cooler. And I'm, I'm 3D printing those right now. I'll, uh, have to go grab one so I can show you. But, uh, yeah, and... I'm gonna, these taillights are really expensive and obviously they're broken on both sides. So I, I, I redesigned them on the computer and I'm gonna 3D print taillights. Um, yeah, and they'll be all LED 3D printed of my design. Yeah. This thing might have a video on it soon. Um, just so the cage and the interior work. So I, I do drive it every day. It might as well 
get some attention and love that it probably needs. But yeah, she's a ripper. Drive it every day. I've driven this thing from Salt Lake City to Missoula, Montana to Seattle and back. And it does fine. It gets good gas mileage. It's it's an absolute ripper. So yeah. This is my oldest brother's Tacoma. And honestly, I don't know anything about it. He drove it every day, I mean, for years. I think he bought it when he was like 18, 19. I don't know how old he is now, but I mean, three, four, five years maybe. He's had this thing. And it, it's sick. All these fenders got shaped out of sheet metal by first, you know, similar to my truck. Um, and then he made a mold of them and they're all made out of fiberglass now. Um, he parked this thing. He got a Tundra now. Uh, it used to be my dad's Tundra, but yeah, I'll have to show you around. You know, they made the exhaust come out the fender. Obviously, because these are fiberglass, he didn't want to keep the stock bed. So, he did his, his signature with all the holes. Um, you know, since he's got the Tundra, this project's kind of on the back burner. But, I mean, it it's sick. It's been sick. It needs some love, but all of these got shaped out of sheet metal. And I think his plan was to make a whole front clamshell, you know, remove. Um, it's got some long travel stuff in the front. I don't know anything about it, to be honest. But, I mean, this thing is sick. It, it rallies for sure. The seats are out of a smart car. I'm sure there's more done to this thing, but I don't want to say anything wrong. It's not mine. But, I mean, it obviously looks sick. But, I think they're on, I think they're 35s. I mean, they're massive for a little Tacoma. But, yeah. This thing has a couple videos about it that he posted. I don't know when those ended, but. Yeah, I'll uh, have to throw in a couple pictures of his new Tundra. He's doing a bunch of fiberglass work on that, long travel work. It's on 39s. Um, he goes down to the Baja races. They're, I mean, they're, they're 39s, they're huge. But he's got big plans, he's got lots of projects, so... project um, I don't have anything to say about it uh, you'll make a video about it at some point because it's just so ridiculous and I'd rather have him say what he wants to say about it but I'm just going to get a video at some point it's definitely by far one of the craziest things to come out of this but yeah I don't know it's ridiculous it's pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, at some point you'll definitely see more of his videos of it ripping, because it rips. But, for now, this is all you need to see. There's obviously a couple projects that are missing from this list that aren't here right now. Um, one of which is the whole reason I started this channel. I mean, 90% of the videos are about it. It's my 86 Toyota pickup truck. It's on a 92 Lexus LS400 chassis. So it's got independent front rear subframes, uh, suspension I mean. Um, 
It's got a 1UZ V8 and a CD009 um, manual six-speed transmission out of a Nissan. And then I was trying to get it done before I graduated, before my high school graduation. And I just, I couldn't get it done. I had, I graduated June 3rd and I had to be in Seattle to go fishing on like the 5th. Yeah, so I, I had to go fishing. So I, I, I put it in, the, in my storage unit alongside my, my Volkswagen Bug, which is the other project. And it sat for probably three and a half, four months until I could pull it out. Um, um, I daily drove that truck for like probably close to a year. I'll have to put some clips of that truck here. That truck will have its own video soon of all that work I did to make it better and like the finished product. I'm really excited for my new project, which sounds silly considering we got so many projects, but I mean, if I could only have one car in the world, it would be my new project, the car I'm working on. So I'm really excited for it. Um, And uh, the other project, obviously, is my Volkswagen Beetle, which it's a 62 Volkswagen Beetle. It's it's on method race wheels, like off-road race wheels, and it's slammed, like, on the ground. It has a 2180cc um, motor, so it's it's bored and stroked, and it, it rips. It's, it's, it's a really fun car to drive. It's just, it is so unreliable. Like, sort of makes it hard to enjoy when you're working on it more than you're driving it. So, I don't know what the future for that car is. I've talked about selling it, but um, I don't know. It's it's a really cool car. I've had it, I mean, it's my very first car. Um, we'll get something done with it, something cool. Something to make it more fun and more reliable. Cause it's, I mean, it's scary driving that thing down the road. You got these big cushy seats in your you're bouncing from passenger to driver's seat, back and forth, holding on to the steering wheel. It's, I mean, it's, you're, you're going like this and you're barely keeping it straight. It's, it's a little scary. So, uh, it's part of the fun, I guess. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay for the next videos. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this next project. So, and a uh, truck video coming soon. This is the new project. Uh, if you can't figure out what it is, you're just gonna have to wait till, till next time. But I'm excited for it.